working on this project. This trip's been great because I've gotten a lot of work done here in, in the Pace Studios. I've also gone out on the streets and done um, several murals. I love this city. I used to spend a lot of time here when I was living in Rhode Island. My best friend lived in Greenwich Village and I would just come and crash on his couch, go out, put posters up, go to art shows. You know, there's an amazing energy here in New York. You just hit the streets, you run into people. There's so much to see, there's so much to do. I'm uh, now okay to go back to LA where it's um, easier to withdraw from the action. The first image of this series that I created was Power, and Power was created to illustrate the evolution um, from pop art to street art and how street art builds upon the democracy of pop art but takes it a step further by literally putting it in the street. Street art uses a lot of uh, an, you know, antagonistic imagery and antagonistic approaches, but it's all about empowerment. The pow of the Liechtenstein with the added ER. This imperial glory was a concept that I wanted to do about, um, about the military industrial complex because both images would have a hand grenade in them um, and reference things in, you know, that, that, that are part of the, the universal American graphic language, pop art and advertising. This is based on old fruit label advertisements, which I think are a symbol of um, the, the, the good side of, uh, of you know, the American dream and American production. Um, but then I've subverted that. I definitely want the imagery to be accessible enough to invite people to look at the, the layers of meaning. And um, especially since a lot of my work is, is not intended for an art savvy audience, the idea of um, you know, immediate interest and relatability is really important and, and a visual language that people understand that it's not alienating. These are the largest, largest uh, screen prints I've ever done and I was able to do that because Pace has the facility to do something larger than I can do in my own studio. This one is a three color screen print over top of the collage. This is a five color screen print over top of the collage and then there's additional um, stenciling in this lighter color that's been done on both of the images that's been done back on top. Um, so it's spray painting, screen printing, collage. And then they're sanded and, uh, and they'll be varnished. The way these were done, I um, made my own paper in LA by taking rag paper and then collaging the surface the entire surface with patterns that I've printed, old newsprint, stencils, um, all sorts of material that gives the surface a feel of uh, layering that's had a life, that there's, it's an accumulation of, of material just like we experience as we, uh, you know, as we go through things day to day. This series called Reagan and Friends um, was really inspired by the recent financial meltdown and how a, lo a lot of that I think was, was created by corporations having too much influence over legislation, over government. The reason I chose to work on this series of images with, with Pace is because the paintings I made had a lot of different subtleties. Relief plate, where the plate is lower, it doesn't take the ink. Where the, the plate is raised, it's inked with a roller. Um, and that actually gives you a lot of control to wipe areas for less ink so that even though it's a one color print, there's some, there's some tonal variation. In the process of creating these pieces, there's also variation created in the way the paper was made. This is all handmade paper that was uh, stained and then also uh, a, a stencil was created for a white area here to pop the figure forward more. I also like 
the subtleties of how the paper pulp washes look. That's all part of the process of creating the paper itself, which um, was really cool for me to get to see and something that I can't do at my own studio. This series here, um, the Global Warming Target Guy, the Dove, the Kiss Me Deadly, the Arab Woman, the thing that unites them all is um, getting people to question um, you know, assumptions about, you know, uh, about, about symbols, um, stereotypes, and uh, war, um, and, and the use of, of uh, war imagery, like targets. The Arab woman is an attempt to get um, people to look at the Arab world as not just terrorists, but just human beings with the same with the same, uh, I think, desires to have families and live peacefully. There's a humanity and an appeal to um, this woman that's, uh, that's undeniable, you know, but at the same time, uh, there, are, there are stylistic things that I think that the average Westerner might have a, a negative knee-jerk reaction to. So getting people to confront uh, how incongruous that is was one of the attempts with that image. So this is uh, one of the amazing things about this relief plate technique. With uh, the last impression, there's a, a deep, a nice deep emboss if, uh, if you want it. You know, to me, that's what makes an image like this really elegant. Even though it's very flat like a screen print, um, which is something I can do in my own studio, I can't create this kind of embossing. You know, that really takes an image like this from nice but not dimensional to something much more sophisticated. God, look at how awesome that looks. I know, they're beautiful objects, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. What I'm doing right now is I'm selectively inking up and cleaning some plates that will be actual objects, print objects in, them, in themselves. Normally this would be our printing plate but we've decided to do some transferring and inking on these so we end up with the final image similar to the additions that we've just made. You'll be able to see the real ones over in the shelf.